Ashraf's invention. Read the story about Ashraf who has a habit of attempting one science experiment after another. Today, he tries to defy gravity by inventing a flying machine. How successful is he? Find out. The day began like any other day, except for one thing. Ashraf was in a hurry. He rushed to eat his breakfast. He picked up his school bag hurriedly and rushed to get on the bus for school. Everything else was happening slowly. He noticed that Ada, the school bus driver, was determined to take her time this morning as her foot barely touched the pedal. When Ashraf finally glimpsed the low brown school building, he rushed to the front of the bus. Not so fast! Ada boomed. Wait for the bus to stop. Sorry, Ada. I need to get to class right away. He called as he jumped out of the bus and ran to his classroom. The first lesson was of science, but Ashraf wasn't listening. His eyes were on the clock. He was eagerly waiting for the first break. As soon as he heard the bell, he headed out to the yard. Hey, Eugene! Do you want to come around after school to fly in my plane? What plane? Sigun, come over here. Ashraf has a plane. Would you like to go to Jupiter or Saturn? <laughs> Look, I promise you that I have a plane. It can seat four people comfortably. Come and see. Ashraf persisted. Is it like the time capsule you made that could send us into the future? Segun reminded him. Or is this like the time you dismantled your dad's radio and made a device that could make us invisible? I got into trouble for making faces, thinking nobody could see me. <laughs> Laughed Segun. Oh, Ashraf, you just never give up, said Eugene. Well, you must come. This time, I have found the formula. Ashraf insisted. More like the formula for getting into trouble. Segun said. But I will come just for your mom's delicious chocolate cake. Did you mention chocolate cake? I am in. Eugene said eagerly. Ashraf was delighted that his friends had decided to give him another chance. The rest of the day flew by. Soon, it was time to get on the bus for home. As soon as the bus stopped in front of his house, Ashraf raced inside. He needed to get some comfortable seats on his plane for his two best friends. He went into the living room and grabbed his mum's favourite purple cushions. He needed some string to make sure they were fastened securely for takeoff and knew just where to get it. Dad always had some strings in his toolbox. The only thing left was to get mum's chocolate cake. But where would he put them? He remembered that he had a pair of round hats. The perfect place to put a snack. Now, all he had to do was get his helmet ready and climb into the cockpit while he waited for his friends to arrive. Grabbing his yellow bicycle helmet, Ashraf made his way to the backyard. 
He took a minute to survey his creation in its entire splendor. It was magnificent. Strong brown body with large wide wings and solid wheels. He looked around impatiently, wondering where his friends were. Ashraf, where are you? This better be good. I had to forego watching soccer with my dad for this. Segun said, This is going to make your day. Come over, I'm at the back. Ashraf replied. He hurriedly climbed into the cockpit, pulling on his helmet. He wanted to make sure he was ready when they got around the back. He checked the wings and the wheels to make sure that everything was perfect for the takeoff. Hurry! He called out loudly. Eugene and Segun went into the backyard and looked here and there. We can't see you, Ashraf. Where are you? Segun called. Up here! Eugene and Segun looked up from where they heard Ashraf's voice. He was perched high on a mango tree, clasping onto a branch. On two branches were two hats with a slice of chocolate cake on each. You are sitting on a tree! Eugene exclaimed in disbelief. Don't tell me that is your plate! Segun muttered. Eugene and Segun scrambled up the tree and sat beside him. Look, Ashraf, I like all your hairbrand ideas and one day you might build all these things for real. Segun encouraged him. For now, we will help you. But you will need much more than a tree to get to space. You two are great, Ashraf said, hugging them. We can look up inventions in our science book and maybe we can start small, like how to boil an egg using heat from the sun. Eugene suggested. Hey, steady on or we will all fall off the tree. Eugene warned as the branch swayed under them. And then, Ashraf, you would have to invent an instant parachute to save us. Segun laughed as the three friends made their way down. <laughs>